folks, it's Colin James and we are back on the couch and today we're talking about this acoustic guitar. Uh, this guitar I've owned longer than any other guitar and it's been with me everywhere I've gone for many, many years. I lost it once and got it back. Um, but when I was around 15, um, I think mom and dad realized that, you know, it, perhaps it could happen that I could be leaving school soon. <laughs> and... Uh, they gave me this guitar and not not long after I, I did that very thing and this guitar came to Winnipeg with me uh, where I moved first for a while and, and played in front of well played some shows and at coffee houses and stuff but definitely played a bunch of street busking with this guitar in Winnipeg for the time I lived there. Eventually it made its way to Montreal where I, I also played on the streets and went you know, I played in subways, uh, liquor board stores, that kind of thing. and. Uh, when I lived out there, uh, it eventually, well, went everywhere with me, and then it uh, ended up ended up uh, out in BC, uh, where it did the same thing. So, and it's where I lost it. I lost it in BC at one point. I was trying to get to the states, to Texas, to Austin, and I needed money now because the ticket that I was taking was leaving the next day. So I sold this and a Fender Twin amp. And I believe the Fender Twin might have been something I used with Billy Cowsill when I played guitar with Billy Cowsill. Um, anyway, I sold both of them and had to buy, at least I bought one of them back, although I think I might have got both back for almost double the money. But, and I think when we bought it way back then, it probably would have been, I don't know, a few hundred dollars. Uh, if you check out Peter Sachin's work, he's out of Regina, Saskatchewan, does beautiful mandolins and guitars. This one had this headstock of a, uh, and again, you know, I, I got to see this when it was built. So it was really my first kind of, um, well, I had electric guitars, I think before. And then I, I had a couple, like an Epiphone. And anyway, the bird and the butterfly, and he makes this model in a Colin James signature uh, uh, model. Uh, which I have and uh, is with some other guitars of mine uh, in a pack right now. But uh, beautiful, I got to see how he made the rosette uh, as far as putting all those little pieces of wood together and slicing them like bread, amazing. This was his 55th guitar in 1979. And as you can imagine, he's made a lot of guitars since then. Uh, yeah, with me through thick and thin, I think this is what I played when I played played Mystic with the band. I mean, it's just, you name it, it's been there. And uh, I think there might be a little burn hole there. <laughs> it's that last red deal gone down. It's that last red deal gone down. It's that last red deal gone down. This time, I the bell, don't you cry this time. You can cry about a nickel, you can die about a dime. On that golf, put on that golf, put on. 